Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your August 2018 Midnight Check In. This is for Cancer. If this resonates with you, Cancer, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. If this does not resonate with you, Cancer, please check your moon rising and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. If you would like a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. This is for Cancer. For August 2018 for Cancer. Whoops, this is for Cancer. August 2018 for Cancer. Okay. Wow. A lot of Libra energy. Okay, and Libra is in Venus right now as well. Okay, um, so we have at the bottom of the deck, we have the death card. All right, so a lot of dramatic changes. Okay, could have been an ending here. But whatever this is, this is getting rid of obstacles. Okay, this is the universe's way of getting rid of things that no longer serve you and clearing your path so you can start um, new beginnings because I do see new beginnings here. Okay, um, death card, Scorpio energy. This came in suddenly. It was very dramatic. Uh, could have been a very dramatic ending as well. Um, really stirred some things up here. But like I was saying, um, whatever obstacles were in the way, it's it's clear now. And you see the sun, see that sun trying to rise back there? That is your new beginning, okay? Your path is being cleared here. All right, so at the heart of this, the situation is I feel like I feel like somebody had some secrets here and that caused these big dramatic changes here for you, Cancer. Okay. Um, you may have been using your intuition, your inner guide. All in all, this is secrets. And you may have chosen to be single because of these secrets. Okay. Lots of things are hidden here. All right. And you uh, being cancer, being water energy, your intuition was telling you this, right? Your intuition is very, very strong, naturally, okay? Being a water energy. Your challenge here is this page of swords. So your challenge here is communication. Um, this is known as immature communication. This is no, I mean, it's truthful, Okay, it's honest, but it's it's very immature. And also, um, this is also representative of someone spying, trying to find out information, trying to find out what is going on, which is kind of what um, I'm, I'm leaning towards here. Page of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, you're trying to figure out um, what is going on here? And you're having a hard time um, doing that. Okay, there's so much mystery here with the high priestess. Things are hidden. And they may be hidden for a reason. They may be hidden for your greater good here, but you really want to know what is going on. All right, you may be handling it in an, a very immature way, or there may be a very immature communication between the two of you, but I feel like you are trying to dig deep and figure out what this person is doing because they are so mysterious and there's so many secrets involved, and you in, instinctively know that, okay? And it's brought on all of this change, all of this dramatic um, energy here. Your advice is to um, start fresh here. Your advice is a new beginning. 
Okay, and this is more Libra energy here. Um, the Empress ruled by Venus, and Venus is in Libra right now. So your advice is to take this new beginning here and um, grow and develop it, okay? If, if you are, um, this may be on your own, okay? Um, because of all of these dramatic changes here. But the potential for a new beginning is definitely here and growing and it could turn into something absolutely beautiful. The Empress doesn't really need anyone, okay? She's very capable of taking care of herself. She's sitting there. She's very abundant. Um, she's very capable of taking care of herself and everyone around her. She is the mother of the tarot deck, okay? So there is potential for a new beginning here, all right? And it can grow and develop and blossom into something absolutely amazing. So that is your advice, is to embrace that energy. Your focus, however, is getting clarity in this situation, okay? And more Libra energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Libra, though, with this Queen of Swords, and this could, your focus, you could be a single parent, um, but, but very strong and determined, very intelligent, trying to make head over heart decisions here. With this queen as an energy, um, male or female, doesn't matter, it's a general reading. Um, as an energy, she wants to get to the point. She wants to cut through the bullshit. She wants clarity, clear communication here. And that is what is definitely going on, okay? It's like once you finally solve this mystery here, get to the bottom of things, um, then you're going to be able to move forward. But it's like you can't let it go until you um, know what the hell happened, what is going on here, right? Because you know something isn't right. You know that instinctively. So you want this clarity. You want this clear communication. You want to know what the hell happened and why it happened. Okay. And this is going to help you move forward into another phase of your life, into this new beginning here. The outcome here is the four of wands. And this is fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is going to bring stability back into your home. This is domestic happiness here. I feel like there will be um, cel celebrating. You'll be able to put down roots. You may even be moving to a larger property here. But this, this is going to bring about happiness and stability into your home once you're able to get this clarity that you are seeking. Okay? Yes, because there's been so much confusion. Your mind has been absolutely clouded and you don't want to make any wrong moves. You don't want to make any um, bad decisions. You've just been so confused over this. Like it's again, like what happened? Somebody's just throwing up smoke screens, right? And you are just completely and totally focused on cutting through this and getting that clarity that you seek. OK, and once all of this smoke has cleared, you're going to be able to make the proper decisions because right now you don't want to make a bad move here because some of these cups, you know, this is, you know, this, these secrets, this mystery is clouding your decision making. OK, and you don't want to decide on, you know, taking a cup with a snake in it. You know, you want to be clear headed. You want to make the right moves and choose a cup with jewels in it or a crown in it. Okay, seven of cups here, water energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So yes, you need to cut through the bullshit, clear those clouds, clear that mystery, and so that you can move forward to your new beginning and you can bring stability and happiness back into your home, okay? This is for cancer for August 2018. Mid-month check-in for cancer.
This is for cancer. For August. Yeah. And it says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are guided to take. So I feel like you're going to be putting a lot of effort into this, into um, clearing up this confusion so that you can move forward to your new beginning. Okay. You're going to get to the bottom of this and your friends may help you here. You're going to have support here, Cancer. Let your friends um, help you ask for and accept support from others, okay? So I feel like you're going to be moving on from this, from all these secrets and all of this mystery and all of these, you know, this, these big dramatic changes here. The sun is going to rise for you again. All right, Cancer, new beginnings here. You will get through this. Um, you just have to push forward, clear all that fog, all those smoke screens that, you know, this person has that's trying to throw you off. And you're going to get to the bottom of this. You will get your clarity and your home will be balanced again. Okay. Your home will be a happy home. And um, you may even be... Um, you know, moving and your friends, you're going to have a lot of friends there um, to back you up, to support you, to help you. If you would like a private reading with me, Cancer, all the information is down below in the description box. I um, will be going live. I go live Monday through Thursday for a daily message around noon Eastern Standard Time. And I also... Go live on Fridays for the Love, Lust, or Lost video, um, also around noon Eastern Standard Time. Next week, I'll be getting out the Let's Spy on Your Ex, so keep an eye out for that. I hope you have a beautiful week, Cancer, and I will talk to you soon. God bless.